comes wrapped like this. All you have to do is to start by removing the ties. Now you see it has a plug. This is epoxy, so it's all waterproof. It has your lifting system, and it has your T-bar. The way we put it on is we remove the lock pin. In between the T-bar and the cushion, we're going to slide it right into the plate. And we're going to replace the lock pin right in. Next, we're going to adjust the height of the shaft using the Allen key that came with the Skimmer Kayak Motor Kit. How do we do that? Well, on this T, you'll see two nuts that can be loosened up with the Allen wrench. So, as we look, we can loosen it up. Loosen it up. There's two of them. And then adjust the height to where we want it. Now we're going to bring this down a little bit further. We think right around there would be good. And just make sure you retighten it. Tighten and tighten. The height should be below the keel of the kayak so that as it pushes, it's going to push just like that. The cushion is there. for a specific reason, it's just that. Push that all the way up and it'll cushion right against the stern of the kayak. You can always use the Allen wrench to readjust in case you're too high or you're too low. Next, the tiller steering system comes with a piece of Velcro around. This is very important piece, just put it on the side. Unwrap it. This is made with anodized aluminum and stainless steel snap pin, snap buttons. So the first thing we do is push it right into the right into the piece that comes out of the T-bar that's on the shaft, and that is how you're going to turn it with a forward and backward motion. Line up the others, and of course this is all adjustable for height, uh, for length. Now we have a forward and backward motion, easy to do as you're facing forward on your seat. That piece of Velcro. Well, it's used to just wrap around our, so that it doesn't fall overboard. It'll hold on to it and you're not going to go any place. You can also still use this to go back and forward. Lifting system. Our lifting system comes in the package. It's this bungee cord. And basically, we're going to hold it in the back. This is adjustable. We'll be putting a pad eye here. And the whole idea is when you have the pad eye in, you can pull it and it lifts the motor right out of the water. 
So our first pad eye is going to go about here, and our second pad eye is going to go up here. And it works like that. Next, we're going to show you, using the wire control box, it's very easy to do. It's an on and off switch. This should be on your left hand. So we're going to bring it down to the left side. You take this and you plug it in. It's only one way to go. Once that's in there, it's pretty waterproof too. We get our battery. In this particular case, it's a 35 amp battery. Red goes to red. Black goes to black, negative. We also recommend you use a battery box. So let's place this battery into a battery box. In this way, like, I, like we said, You'll keep water off of it. You'll have room to put your bungee cords over it to secure it a little bit better, and you can take it from there. Next, when we operate it, the first thing we do is we stow our paddle. We put it away. Second thing, we have our control box in our left hand and our tiller steering system in our right. So we'll be able to turn it on and steer it. And that's how we install the plate, the motor, the lifting system, the control system, and the tiller steering system onto the Tamarack 120 made by Lifetime Kayaks. This is James Burke from Watercraft Technologies. Hope to see you out in the water.